Let's just see what Liberal Democrat MP for Richmond Park, Sarah Olney, has made of Jeremy Hunt's statement. Look, thank you very much, Sarah. Great to have you on the show. OK, so an uplift in benefit payments. The wealthy pay more tax. £6 billion on insulation. No growth, no fracking, windfall taxes. You must be pretty happy with this. Hi there. No, I mean, really, what we've seen and the OBR has proved is that we are going to see uh, every person in this country is going to be paying more taxes. Uh, and that's at a time when we're already seeing record cost of living increases on things like food and fuel and that people are paying higher interest rates on their mortgage. And the OBR have confirmed in their analysis that we are going to see a 7 percent fall in living standards. Uh, and that's, that's a record. We've never seen anything like that before. So I don't think there's anything at all to be happy about. Well, where, where would you make a point of difference in all of this then? Where would you find the money on? What areas would you cut spending on? Well, we've been saying for over a year that we need to be levying a proper windfall tax on the oil and gas companies. They've been paying, uh, making record profits while we've been seeing uh, wholesale gas prices go sky high as a result of Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine. Uh, and we've been saying for over a year that those needed to be taxed and we would have raised 60 billion by our figures uh, over three years or with, a, with a, a windfall tax. Uh, and that would have obviously gone a long way to, uh, you know, to, to helping us pay for public services. But I think it's worth pointing Just out that actually a lot of the problems we're seeing today is as a direct result of the Conservatives' atrocious mismanagement of the budget. The Resolution Foundation yesterday estimated that 30 billion of the fiscal black well, hole is a direct result of the September okay. mini-budget.